You're him, aren't you? Lincoln Clay. Vito asked me to come see you. He wants our guys to do double the runs. Double the runs means double the chances of running into the Coast Guard. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be too much help dealing with them. So I will deal with those hijos de la gran puta. I need someone to keep the warehouses full, keep the money coming in. How much we talking? Enough to make it worth your troubles. You're gonna be hitting trucks for the contraband. Seems simple enough. I'll let you know when I get the first truck. You didn't just save his life, you know. You brought him back. The real Vito. What I mean is I haven't seen this Vito in a really long time. And I don't want him to go back to the way he was. You got something to say, I'm gonna just say it. What's gonna happen next? You need him, and you need us now. So you give Marcano the fucking he deserves. Is it back in the freezer again? Would you believe me if I say no? No. I don't think so. But I believe very few people these days. And if Vito say this is the way things are, that's how they are. If you see any of Greco's men out there, you should deal with them. It will make it easier for us to conduct business. I got my hands on prime shipments out there. Go bust up some heads and bring it back here. I'll take it from there. This fucking dumb. Huh? Don't like folks skulking wow. around our business. Huh? Gonna be real sorry. Shoot a rat. There's our boy. Hey, Lincoln. Everything back to normal here now, thanks to you. Coño, no necesito esta mierda. What? Trouble? Yeah, my whole fucking life. It's a letter from my grandmother. Writes me to wish my mother happy birthday. You know, who she saw get dragged away back in 10 October. Jesus. Don't. It's nothing. Fuck it. You got something for me? I got another truck stash ready for you guys to pick up. Really? Huh. 
What kind of guys have fucking pussies? No problem then? Not a one on my end. Good. So it shouldn't be a problem to bring more trucks. Sure, Alma. I'll see what I can do. After this guy and I screwed last night, he started yammering on and on about some shit. I was only halfway listening. But he hooked me when he started talking about this warehouse I had my eye on. Turns out they just got some new shipments. I want them. And if you see any of their delivery trucks, bring them back here and I will see what we can salvage. Life's short. Huh? Yours is about to get what? shorter. Fellas, over here! Yeah. I'm ready to stomp some fucking ass! Yeah. Hey, Lincoln, that prick Greco threw me out on my ass. Didn't give a shit I got a pregnant wife at home. Nice to be back on the job is all I'm saying. I can go. Fuck it. You get that truck? Yeah. Let me guess. You need more? As many as you can find. Anything you grab helps us get this operation going. I thought I'd forgotten this song. You're from Cuba? Goddamn pain the tis grandmother of mine. She sent this fucking mental time bomb. He was playing when the policia came for my parents. The old man wasn't political. Hell, he was a clerk in the government. But he had this drinking butt in the city, Mr. Roberts. 
white guy, always around. And I bet that motherfucker was real political. He slipped out of the country before Castro started putting down spies and traitors. My folks, though, not so lucky. Or smart. My papa, this shot right there. My mama. I don't know. So just you and your grandmother got out? One old lady and his Kermit brat pissing all over herself. Weren't worth the bullets or the trouble. You ever think about going back for your mother? A few years ago, I heard she was at the Pinos before he shut down. Nothing after that. Sometimes I think you and Vito got the right idea. Fuck the past and kill every motherfucker that gets on the way of what's coming next. But I want to know. I, wa I want to know what happened to her. Is she still alive? So maybe I will set aside enough money to smuggle myself back in and see what I can find. Put that part of my life to rest. Keep the trucks coming, Lincoln. We're hitting the mother law here, my friend. I just got off the phone with some scumbag who's trying to get into my pantalones. Asshole gave me heads up of some big rigs that are carrying high-end products. Get them, bring them back to me, and it will be like money grows on trees. Shooting. Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're almost likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with the 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying, we didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the crowds and nips back to the Stone Age. Padre would be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? Don't tell me you weren't at least a little curious. I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you're doing? You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in the newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times do we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did something, folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I... I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a good life. I don't know if you 
solve at Sammy's, but what the fire didn't get, the neighborhood took. Not out of malice, mind you. They wanted something to help them remember. 